Hi, I've been asked by several people to explain how I do my NFED half-wave sloper on field day. Um, so I made an attempt to show, I've actually used three different configurations. I've made a, a uh, an attempt to diagram these and I'm going to try to explain them very briefly in this video just to hopefully answer a few questions. Um, First off, test your setup and verify your SWR ahead of deployment. If you blow your radio up, it's not my fault. Um, I did not use a tuner on any of these three, but I probably should have on the uh, inverted V, and we'll get to that in a minute. So at field day, the first year, uh, we're at 100 watts. I was able to reach Slovenia from Payson. I had no tuner, and the wire antenna was... Uh, uh, set basically it was matched at 7.25 megahertz uh, that was the sweet spot on 40 meters and um, I was able to use uh, 40 20 15 and 10 I believe uh, not all of 10 obviously but uh, part of 10 on this this particular antenna uses a 49 to 1 uh, ballon transformer uh, a min I use a minimum of 20 feet K of uh, coax on all of these. Try not to have any loops in it. Um, and the reason I do that is uh, the antenna tends to use the coax as part of its... Um, it, it wants to be a dipole. So this is like the other half of the dipole to a certain extent. Uh, you can use a ground as optional. It's optional. I don't use one, but I have. Uh, I don't normally use it because it's never, with my particular antenna and my particular uh, transformer, it's never made any difference. So the first year I had a three-foot tripod. This actually had a 10-foot uh, uh, PVC pole on it with a J-pole at the top. And I just connected the 49 to 1 transformer at the bottom, at the base, about three feet off the ground, eh, maybe two feet, somewhere in there. And then I ran the wire up to a collapsible 20-foot pole uh, on another three foot tripod and just stretched it out like this and of course it doesn't stretch in a straight line you know it droops like this so it was actually very close to the ground for a long ways but uh, and then there's an insulator at the top and that was that and I was able to reach Slovenia um, and uh, that's pretty cool so that was at 100 watts and no, no uh, amplifier um, so that's Sloper one. Then uh, the next configuration is uh, again um, test your setup and verify your SWR ahead of deployment. Do this at home when you're getting ready to, you know, when you're figuring out what you need to bring with you on your deployment, whether it's field day or soda, poda, you're just going camping, whatever. Um, do all that ahead of time. And 100 watts on this particular one at the last field day, I made contacts over most of the USA from Payson to Strawberry. Now on field day from Payson, I could only I only made one contact in Ohio, although that was pretty decent contact. Uh, however, the next morning I set it up in front of the house, and um, or beside the house actually, and uh, was able to talk all over the country. So that was pretty cool. Uh, the only difference on this one was I had it up a 10 foot pole. I, instead of putting it at the bottom of the tripod with the 10 foot uh, PVC pipe and the J-pole at the top I put it up at the top and the reason for that was so that people weren't tripping all over it because again the wire doesn't go straight line that's a lot of you'd have to have a heck of a pole over here maybe if you had a tree you could do that um, but uh, it tends to droop like this so by getting to 10 feet off the ground I didn't have to worry people could walk under it I didn't have to worry about uh, anybody tripping over it uh, with this configuration, you might want uh, a counterpoise wire. I recommend about 35-foot wire. Just just let it hang down and run along the ground or whatever. Uh, but um, you could go as high as 30 feet and make this a horizontal. Uh, that's why this says uh, raised sloper or horizontal. That's supposed to say horizontal there. Um, and uh, you could you could do that. It, it'll it really won't change really anything um, and it, you might even get more contacts with it. who knows uh, but this is what I used at the last field day and it worked quite well 
Again, the, the wire is, uh, it was about 71 feet long. It's a half wave at 40 meters. <clears throat> and that's um, that was a configuration for that. And again, minimum of about 20 feet of coax. You could use more. I try not to put loops in it, although this one I did put, if I remember correctly, I did put like three loops up near the top, just uh, about uh, probably 12 to 15 inches wide loop and that was just a meant to be a poor man's uh uh rf balance to, to you know rf filter to get the um any rf that was come back down the line uh i did have uh my portable tuner with me on this although i didn't need it um but but i found with the tuner i was able to tune this up 160 through 10 meters uh i was able to i could have used this on 160 meters 80 meters um it, it was kind of nuts uh it worked it, it worked really well just at, at 10 feet to about yeah it was close to 30 feet um probably a little shorter than that but um but it with the with the tuner out the uh radio worked worked fine on uh on 40 meters and then the third configuration is the inverted v uh, again, test your setup and verify SWR before deployment. Yeah, you blow up your radio, it's not my fault. Uh, if, you, if your antenna is tuned as a sloper, um, your SWR is going to change in this configuration. You might want a tuner. Um, you, you, you don't necessarily need one. Um, I use this configuration. Uh, I tested this at just five watts uh, right in front of my house I put the, the same antenna um, for the other two configurations on this with the pole in the middle it was about uh, roughly 25 feet high uh, just ran the wires down it was about three to five feet off the ground at one end a uh, little different somewhere between three and five at the other end I had the same 49 to 1 transformer um, with the radio and the same 20 feet of coax and um, this is the same collapsible pole on that three foot. Um, I would, you're probably going to come out around 68 feet on this if you tune it just for this particular configuration. Um, but I was just running five watts because uh, I was testing the SWR and I, I I didn't do it on purpose. I actually forgot to change the change the power setting. And I talked to, uh, I don't know, three, four, or maybe five people uh, in California from Strawberry. Uh, one of them was in San Jose. Uh, he was booming in, so I was pretty sure I was going to be able to, he was going to be able to hear me. And I'm at five watts, and he said I was giving him a 5.9 at San Jose from Strawberry, which is, you know, I mean, wow. Okay, so that works. Um, so that's the third configuration. This is not my favorite because of the fact that changes the SWR. And I've got my antenna basically tuned to be a sloper, but you can do it, um, you know. And if again, if you keep an eye on it so you don't overheat your radio and blow it up, uh, you'll be fine. So those are my three configurations for field day, poda, soda, camping, all that stuff. And uh, hopefully that answers everybody's questions. Thanks for coming by. Talk to you later.